Hey there, it's Steve. And Terry. From Serious Keto. And this is the first video where I have my wife, Terry, sitting in to do a full out review. You know, she's sometimes there for my taste testing, but because Courtney, who is the resident chocolate lover and usual review partner of mine, is at basic training, we now have another non-keto chocolate loving person. Correct. I do like chocolate. It's very good every night after dinner. I usually have some. So let's yep. see what we got here from, uh, where is this? Choc 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 Zero. Zero. Yep. Choc Zero. Now it's kind of appropriate that you are in this video because right now Choc Zero has a Mother's Day truffle box. So that's where we're going to start. And then we're going to go through and we're going to try the orange, orange peel, white chocolate bark, the three different flavors of peanut butter cup, and then also, one of the things that Courtney and I reviewed, uh, not well, because neither of us like mint and chocolate, is the mint and chocolate. And you like yeah. the chocolate mint, right? Yeah, not peppermint, but well, oh, okay. that's okay. Well, well then, I'll then maybe you won't like it either. <laughs> I'll try it. All right, so I'm going to set this stuff aside. <laughs> Truffles are my favorite. One of my favorites, other than I like Oreo cookies. <laughs> All right, it's got a little zip thing on there. Would have been nice if it just had like some sort of a flip top lid or something. So the key is they all look like some sort of flower, apparently. Yes. So Mother's Day Mother's flowers. Tul tulip, stars, daisy. Yep. And it says they're all filled with a creamy, sugar free fondant. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Fondant. Yeah, that's okay. like a cream that. Like uh, Whitman's chocolates have. Okay, well you pick, you pick first and uh, star. for Mother's Day. I'm a star. I'm gonna take for the. Doing this. I'm gonna take the tulip. <laughs> okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Milk chocolate's good, with uh, nice and firm. And I didn't get much of the nugget yet. Well, maybe you should take another bite. See what you think, because I think the nugget's the important part. Yeah, there's a little hint of coconut. Yep. Yeah, it's good. It's plain. There's not, it's not real sweet. It doesn't like, you know, some of those yeah. like Whitman chocolates are like, wow, sugar. No sugar. This is, but the chocolate I can taste good. It's a good flavor of the milk chocolate. Yeah, they, they pull yeah. off the milk chocolate pretty well here. Um, not quite as creamy as milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. I agree with you on the coconut. I like that it's just sort of a hint of coconut. It's not, you know, like an overpowering, like you're eating a, a Mounds bar or yeah. something like that. And and the sweetness, yeah, you don't you don't feel like the immediate need to just brush your teeth mm -mm. right afterwards. So Yeah, I would eat these. These are good. Well, yeah. hey, congratulations. It's yeah. Mother's Day. This is your present. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll get you something else too. <laughs> so mint chocolate. You like Andy's. Andy's candies, but this is peppermint though. Well, let's see what you think. Oh, it's already conveniently broken in half. Looks like but, I like Andy's. Oh. But since I'm not a fan, I'm not gonna have my half. It actually, there is barely, barely any peppermint. So it has that taste of, yeah, actually this is very good. <laughs> um, it is not a pepper, I mean, real so strong of, peppermint. Like when you have like Lifesaver peppermint candies, this is closer to like Andy's Candies mint candy. Yeah, I would eat this too. Okay, well, good. You can have, yeah. the, you can have the other half later. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, you know, when you see peppermint, it's like, wow. So on both of those two candies, you're looking at one gram of net carbs per serving. Now we move on to the white chocolate orange peel bark and this is two grams of net carbs for a bar, but as you'll see in a second, it's bigger. About twice the size of those mint candies. There you go. Sweeter. Thoughts? Uh, has orange in it. And again, it's nice and firm and I like, sweet. It's a little more sweeter and it's good. It's not too sweet. <laughs> I like the orange peel. Yeah. It's because it doesn't taste like an orange candy to me. It tastes like real orange. The one thing, and I find this is the case with 
every white chocolate I've tried, every keto white chocolate, is it's just not right to me. Real non-keto white chocolate has that sort of buttery, coat your mouth sort of vibe to it. Okay. Whereas this doesn't. It's, um, I, I'm not sure how I would describe it. Yeah, it doesn't taste, I mean, it, there's, it doesn't, it's no different than the regular chocolate to me, only this has orange and pieces in it. Yeah, if, if you're... Yeah, because I don't really like white chocolate. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess then, if you if you also don't like white chocolate... That's not what you think. This, this, is good. this doesn't taste a lot like white chocolate. <laughs> just, this tastes yeah. like, like orange. orange fruit, yeah. So, we're going to approach this like a wine tasting, which is often what we do for our afternoon date once a month. We'll start with the light chocolate and work our way darker. Again, each one of these peanut butter cups has one net gram of carbs per serving. So this is the size right here. I'm gonna cut these in half just so we don't get like candy overkill here. And ooh, the peanut butter is, it's like, it's not like Reese's where it's dry. This is moist, like real peanut butter. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that oh. doesn't taste like candy peanut butter. That tastes like real natural yeah. roasted peanut butter. Yeah, this that is, is really good. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, you don't this taste is... really any of the white chocolate. It's just it's mm -hmm. a delivery mechanism for some really tasty peanut butter. Yeah, a, a Reese's peanut butter cup. I love them, but the peanut butter is it's almost sort of a gritty. I don't. It's not like peanut right, butter. It's right. something else. This is peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So now we have the milk chocolate, which is probably going to be your favorite. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not trying to right. convince you that it is, but just what I know of you. <laughs> Very good. That same creamy. I mean, I mean, honestly, there's not much difference. I think. I think that you you get more of the peanut butter flavor out of the first one. The, yeah. the white chocolate, that just tastes like straight up peanut butter yes. to me. This is a good balance of the chocolate and the peanut butter, but I kind of wish it had a little more peanut butter. Which, which oh. you don't think so? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, no, I like. Maybe I was spoiled by that first one. <laughs> I think because of the darker, or the heavier chocolate taste, it takes down the peanut butter part. So then the dark chocolate, I'm probably gonna I'm feel even stronger, stronger. about I'm the Yes. peanut butter flavor yeah, or like yes. lack thereof. Yes, I think it's going to happen. Now this is potentially a, a bad thing having you in these reviews because now you know I that my, ke <laughs> my keto food tastes good and you're going to be eating my keto food. All right, so dark chocolate. Get a little more flavor of chocolate to me. That's me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I actually prefer the dark chocolate. I feel like yeah. the chocolate and peanut butter balance is a lot better but each one of them when i bit into it that that squirt almost of, of peanut, peanut butter, butter yeah, is just well done with the, the texture it, of what yeah such, <laughs> such a great mouth feel you know to mm -hmm. it and but also unlike you know if i just went and took a scoop of natural peanut butter I, you know my mouth would be i'd have that you know like you know sort of thing where your mouth is, is sticking this isn't gumming up my mouth no Whenever Courtney and I do videos, I don't think we have ever had a situation where we loved everything across the board. There was always something that we're like, yeah, not a big fan. But in this, I, gosh, I'm trying yeah, to decide which, <laughs> if there's anything, there's nothing I disliked. It was sort of all variations of like and love. Yes. What would you say was your favorite out of all those? And then what was your least favorite? Um, I actually... I'm surprised that I like the white stuff also. So I'm gonna go with that white, this one. The white, the white. The peanut butter. The white chocolate peanut yeah, butter? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I like I like the peanut butter ones before, but they're still, and this pie is my least. I mean, the out mother's, of five. The Mother's Day thing is your yeah. least favorite? <laughs> like, okay. sorry. Because of was, the, was yeah, like the I'd rather day. have the peanut butter in the middle than the coconut. That's just me, personally. I like peanut butter better than coconut. I more, like it more, so. Um, I, uh, my favorite also is the, the white chocolate. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to say my favorite is the dark chocolate the peanut butter. 
just I like dark I like dark chocolate. I felt that was a, a really good balance uh, with the white chocolate being a, a close close follow up. So the Mother's Day candies they were nice they were good, but flavor wise they just they can't they come nowhere close to these other things. The orange really brings that orange flavor, and then all the peanut butter cups are just spectacular. And the mint is not like peppermint. It's it's minty for me. It was good. Like that, Andy's candies. <laughs> I still don't like it, but I'm but glad you I, did. You can, I, yeah. Well, now that you've had it, you know that you can have the rest of the bag. I can eat it. It's all yours. <laughs> so one quick thing, and I mention this whenever I do a Chalk Zero product review, is their products do contain soluble corn fiber. There are some people for whom this causes a blood glucose spike. It does not cause that for me. So if you have issues with soluble corn fiber, then you probably want to steer clear. But if not... Down below in the description, I will have a link so that you can order any of these products along with a discount code, Serious Keto, for 10% off. So how'd you feel about your first video? Yeah, it was good. I like... I think uh, you did a good job. Yeah, it's so, just hard to... I'm watching the birds out there. They're yeah, so yeah, there's a... Cute we got bird a, house. <laughs> we got a bird house with a feeder right outside the window there, and it's kind yeah. of distracting. Yeah, <laughs> but... Anyhow, well, I think you did a good job, and hopefully my viewers think you did, and... Uh, if so, we'll have you back for something. <laughs> have a good Mother's Day, all you moms out there and grandmas and great-grandmas. <laughs> Thanks for watching.